All right, now, so I've curled up uh, his fingers now. We got a little bit of a point going on here. I want to uh, see if I can push this even further and pull those in somewhere about right there, maybe. Uh, all right, maybe something like that. I don't want his fingers to clip. All right, so we have a, a, pretty, a pretty good point going on here. Uh, I want to uh, take this time to go ahead and flick his thumb up as well. Here we have... Um, we have the opportunity to kind of, since he's going with the with the momentum, we can go ahead and rotate his thumb about right there, and when it gets up, uh, rotate it a bit down uh, on the X, and then when it goes up, kind of have it go up like that maybe a little bit, and then while it's doing that, we'll kind of curve it down a little bit maybe Ooh, nope all right so now I've kind of scaled up this um, scaled up this little piece right here and that actually controls the ability to kind of curl and uncurl his thumb so he'll kind of flick out his thumb like that which is pretty nice maybe I want him to wag his finger a little bit so when it's coming up the force will kind of pull it pull it down right maybe something like that right And then when it comes up, he will go ahead and pull that finger back up, maybe a little bit more up, something like that. And then it'll come back on down. This is animation, so we can get away with stuff like this, um, but that's really nice. So I want to go ahead and take a look at that now. Exaggerate those movements a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. I also want to make it so that uh, his hand doesn't curl as quickly as it is. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the dope sheet once again. We will go ahead and select all of these pieces right here, push that back to the first frame. And uh, on all of these, we'll move those up a little bit. Um, and I also want to duplicate these, these keyframes here and not move them until he starts to go up, which is about right there. So that's about perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at this now. All right, so that's pretty good. He kind of go ahead. He's he's going ahead and and pulling that out once he uh, he gets his his hand up there. All right, so that's pretty nice. I also want to rotate his wrist with this motion here, uh, keeping in mind, like I said, the kind of force is pulling his hand backwards. So maybe his hand is being pulled up like that. And when it finally gets up, maybe it goes up a little bit and then back down. And then uh, we'll rotate it down a little bit. And then back up. All right. All right. I've done something similar with his uh, with his with his left hand over there. Uh, he has a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, point in motion going on with that over there. Now I wanted that one to be a little more stiff than this one over here, since uh, maybe he's right-handed. So I want to go ahead and also do the animation for the wrist. Now go ahead and do the same thing. Rotation right there. Maybe the force is pulling his hand backwards. Now we're popping it back up. And you want to make sure that uh, you don't have uh, keyframes that are overlapping each other. Pretty much this one right here is getting canceled out by this keyframe, which is not good. So we need to go ahead and make sure that's not going on. Raise it up. Raise it down. Something like that. All right, pew pew. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I also kind of want to move his shoulders when he does the little uh, finger guns here. So I'll go ahead and, and uh, hit G right there, and uh, maybe move that out, maybe down, forward, backward, forward, resting. 
All right, that was pretty cool. Uh, and the same thing with this one over here. Maybe we'll try and go at opposite intervals here so that when that one's back, this one will go forward. Maybe something like that, maybe. Yeah, uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, I want to give a little bit more life into this animation by going ahead and um, playing around a little bit with um, more of a facial expression. I'll go ahead and... Um, and when he uh, when he does the finger guns, we'll get uh, we'll get a, maybe a bit of a open mouth going on here. Now grab the corners of his mouth and uh, of, of his mouth, and uh, I'll go ahead and pull those those down right there when it starts, and then when it goes up, when his fingers go up, uh, he starts to smile a little little bit, right? Maybe a little bit, and then when uh, he pulls the finger guns all the way out, he smiles a lot. Hey, there you go. <laughs> that's pretty funny maybe I'll scale him out a little bit move him down alright that's pretty good same thing with the eyebrows here we'll, we'll, uh, we'll kind of hold down shift and grab both of them uh, maybe his eyebrows will be down when the scene starts right and then he, he kind of he leaves them down leaves them down leaves them down pulls them up when he starts to smile Finger guns, hey, hey, how's it going? And then we're going to pull that down like there, right there. You see how we're breathing a lot more life into the character just from um, just from doing a couple of things with his face here. I want to do a little bit with his nostrils. Um, maybe we'll have him right there. Uh, we'll scale him out a little bit when he, when he goes to smile. And then back in a little bit. And maybe out a little bit more. Just for some constant motion. Very, 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 very slight notice, noticeable change, but it's the, it's the small things like that that really um, help push the animation as much as it can go. I want to go ahead and do a little bit with his with his eye here, raising up his eye, raise that piece up right there, and then we'll raise it back down, but not all the way down. I want a little bit of motion, like I said, a little bit of motion for the end there. So then we'll move it down all the way. All right. We'll do something similar on this side, but we might push this side even further. Something like that. With his eyelids, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll squint them together at the beginning of the scene. Something like that, maybe. He was getting serious. He's pulling out the finger guns. He's going for the ultimate. The ultimate hello. He's opening his, he's opening his eyes. Now he's opening them a lot. He's getting that crazy look in his eye. And this one right here, this one's too far down, too far up, rather. So we'll go ahead and move that one down. And then by the end, we'll put his eyes back the way they were instead of making them look all weird. All right, there we go. Have that little bit of motion in his eyes, which is nice. Maybe we'll have him open his mouth a little bit as well. Maybe he'll grit his jaw right here. Pull it up like that, maybe a little bit. And now he's getting happy. He's going, oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? He's getting happy. He's going, and now we'll close his mouth back down. All right. Hey, there you go. All right, now he has so much more life now just from doing those facial expressions. You can see the difference uh, this kind of makes. Here, I want to kind of do a little bit of squash, 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 and stretch here. Um, we'll go ahead and when he scrunches down, his head will scrunch down a little bit like that. Maybe he's raising up a little bit. Now he's getting really happy. His face kind of uh, squashes up, and then it goes back down. 